Lecture, I make it not teach me nonsense. I did a lot of fun too. Hello, uh, Andy. Thank you so much. I'm tempted to give a lecture, but no, I don't do lectures. I just say it exactly as it is. Mr. Olubumitu Jojo, this is to you. I'm talking about the gigantic cost of Nigeria's anyhowness. So, on Sunday, April 7th, late afternoon, the federal government declared Tuesday and Wednesday public holidays for the Muslim Eid El Fitri celebrations to mark the end of the 30 days of Ramadan. By Monday, meetings would have been rescheduled. Plans reorganized, and of course, organizations around the country would mirror FG's declaration by obliging their staff to observe the same two days as public holidays. Then came Tuesday morning. In a statement that can only be described as, oh, by the way, the Permanent Secretary, Minister, Ministry of Interior, informed us, yes, the country, that the Minister of Interior, Mr. Olubumi Tsunjiojo, had approved Thursday as an additional public holiday. For these years, it will future. Why the extra day, you might ask? Well, I could expense oxygen in an attempt to explain, to help you understand and make sense of it, or I could just default to my preferred position and just say it as it is. So honestly speaking, it is my strong belief that they just don't care. You see, Bumi Tunji Ojo knows, just as you and I know, that none of these colleagues will be on seat till Monday. So in truth, the extra public holiday is neither here nor there. They're all week gone. Officially in Nigeria, there are 16 scheduled public holidays in any given year. Most of these public holidays are Christian and Muslim holidays. So how do we still get it wrong, despite having one of the highest number of public holidays in the world? So this year, we now have at least 17. That's assuming there won't be any more cock-ups by the end of this year. This is so very very wrong. How hard can it be to confirm the date of Muslim religious celebrations, especially in this age of technology, where there are apps available that can estimate these holidays, and then all that would need to happen is to give a call to the Sultan of Sokoto and Shikina, all is confirmed. We all know this is not the first time they've done this to us. Our government's inability to administer such basic ubiquitous information accurately is symptomatic of Nigeria's chaotic landscape. But of course, no one will be punished, queried, or even told off. It will happen again, as it did during Buhari's first term in office. Given the many negative economic indices this administration is allegedly working hard to rectify, surely a lackadaisical additional public holiday should be the last gift from the Trojan horse, wouldn't you say? So let me give you a small illustration of the value of Ogatunji's dash, Mekunatik. Using a similar methodology to that used by SBM Intelligence to estimate the cost of election postponement in 2019, let's estimate the cost of, an ex of the extra public holiday we have this year. According to Google, Nigeria's 2022 GDP of 472.6 billion dollars suggests a potential economic income of approximately 1.29 billion dollars. Dollars, not naira. How do you get that? You take four. 472.6 billion dollars and you divide that by 365 days and what you get is 1.29 GDP per day. So technically the value of Minister Olubumio Joe's supreme nonchalance and wasteful generosity is a gigantic 1.2 billion USD. So you see, the next time you ask yourself, why is Nigeria such an anyhowness country? 
Look no further than Abuja. Yes, to those elected and appointed government officials whose job it is to oversee the structure of the country and nurture her to its optimum potential. But instead, would rather give an additional public holiday. Happy Idol Fig Tree. Assalamu alaikum to my Muslim sisters and brothers.